I'm Dr. Amanda weeks Harris. As part of our series on healing foods, we're talking about gelatin today. Gelatin is an incredibly food because of its healing properties. It aids in the healing of almost any tissue in the body, but especially the digestive tract, the joints, and the skin. Gelatin is hydrophilic, so it pulls gastric juices towards it and aids in healthy digestion. It also repairs damaged lining of your gut, damaged joints, and damaged skin. Uh, many people have a hard time fitting it into their diet, so today I'm going to show you a fun and creative way to get more gelatin into your diet, and we're making Jello Jigglers. So here's what you'll need. I'm using all natural fruit juice, and the flavor I'm using is pure black cherry, but you can use any flavor you want as long as it's all natural. I'm also using a gelatin that's from a local company that's very pure product, and I'm using forcing because it's more clear. The other things that you'll need is you'll need a low, flat glass pan if you want to make jello jigglers, a bowl to mix it up in, a tablespoon, and a measuring cup. So let's get started. <clears throat> the way that this works is you use one tablespoon of gelatin to every cup of liquid that you're using. But to start, you have to do what's called bleeding your gelatin. And so what I'm doing is I have four cups of liquid, so I've put four tablespoons of gelatin into my bowl. I'm just going to take one cup of my liquid at room temperature and pour that into the bowl. We have to do this so that the gelatin ends up dissolving completely in the liquid. So I'm going to stir all of my gelatin into one cup of my liquid and get it so that it's all dissolved in there. And then I'm just going to let this sit for about five minutes. And what you'll notice is, is it starts to gel up. And as I'm doing this, the rest of my juice is heating up on the stove. So I've let my gelatin bloom, and this is what it's going to look like after about five minutes. So now I have the heated liquid, and as you can see, you heat it until it's just steamed. So I have the remainder three cups of my juice. And I'm going to pour that into my bowl on top of my bloomed gelatin and just whisk it up so that it's all dissolved. And this is really easy if you bloom the gelatin. Okay. So once I have it all dissolved, make sure there's no chunks left in it. I'm just going to pour it into my flat bowl. And I'm going to let this cool on the counter. And once it's cool, I'm going to throw it in the refrigerator uh, for two to three hours, cut it up, and you've got Jell-O Jigglers. Uh, to learn more about how to incorporate gelatin into your life, visit our Facebook, and our, our Facebook and our YouTube channels to watch our videos on bone broth. Let us know how you enjoy your gelatin.